All right, what is going on, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to the KC Sports Report. As always, I'm your host, Michael Darcy, and today I'm going to break down which Chiefs draft pick will have the best rookie season. So before we get into this video, I'd like to say that uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for more of the best Chiefs content on YouTube. The goal is to hit 6K by the end of the month, and then ultimately 10K by the end of 2021, which I understand it's a lofty goal, but uh, we might as well dream big and uh, go for it. So I appreciate your support as always. And uh, if you do like what I do around here and you want to uh, support the content, subscribe and share this video with your friends. So now to answer the question, which Chiefs draft pick is going to have the best rookie year? Now, when I was trying to find topics to talk about, I wanted to talk about something relating to the draft picks. And what I'm qualifying as the best rookie season as a player that can have the most uh, impact on this team in his rookie season. I'm not saying that this player is necessarily going to have the best career overall because the Chiefs drafted a lot of guys in this draft class that might not be good day one starters, but they could develop into being very good players. So in my opinion, the best uh, the most impactful rookie we will have is center Creed Humphrey. And, you know, it was really only between two players for me, and that is Creed Humphrey and Nick Bolton. And I think that Nick Bolton will be a good linebacker on this team. I don't think he will be a day one starter right away just because we do have Anthony Hitchens. He's on his final year of his contract. Uh, Hitchens is a veteran linebacker, a great play caller. He's in the final year of his contract, and he played great football last year. So when you add that all together... It's pretty simple to say that uh, I think Anthony Hitchens is probably going to start over Nick Bolton. But Creed Humphrey, on the other hand, is going to have the chance to fight for that center job coming out of camp. Um, right now, I, I think that it's either between Creed Humphrey or Austin Blythe. Uh, I, I think that Creed Humphrey is more athletic. He's better in pass protection. He's better in run blocking. Um, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see because... It's a draft pick, and Austin Blythe is a, a proven center in this league. But I, I think that Creed Humphrey is going to give him some competition. And I think that as depth, either of these players are going to be very good as backups. Blythe is a fantastic backup to have. But if Creed doesn't win the starting job, he's going to have a chance to uh, back up Austin Blythe. And after his one-year deal is done, it's going to be his job. But I, I really do think that the player that's going to have the most impact on day one will be Creed Humphrey because I think he's going to win that job out of training camp and he's going to be a fixture on this offensive line. And I know that's a very bold take, but in my opinion, he's the best center of the draft class. He was the best center in the 2021 class and he got him with your second second round pick. So in my opinion, he's going to start week one and I think you're going to have an offensive line that consists of Orlando Brown at left tackle. You're going to have Joe Tooney at left guard. Uh, you're going to have Creed Humphrey at center, the rookie. He's going to be a, a solid piece. Uh, right guard, you're going to either have Kyle Long or LDT. And then right tackle, I think personally it's going to be Lucas Niang. A lot of people think it's going to be uh, Mike Remmers, which it could be. But I think that Lucas Niang is going to win that job. And I think that you've got a, a fantastic line this offseason. You've basically had uh, to overhaul this entire line, and you fixed it. And Creed Humphrey is going to be a major part of that overhaul and, and that fixture of an offensive line that really did need a center. So I love that pickup. But let's talk about some of the other players that I think can't have day one success in this league but could be good players overall. So like I said, I think that Creed Humphrey is going to have the best rookie season. But Nick Bolton's going to be a very good linebacker in the future. I think that after he gets a year and a half under his belt, he's going to take over that job for Anthony Hitchens, and he will be the starting middle linebacker on this team. So a very good pick. Uh, I think that Joshua Kando, he's going to develop into a defensive end. He's, he might take a few years because he's uh, very athletically raw, but he's got the physical tools. He's got the size. He's got the length. He's got the speed. He's got the, the toughness. Uh, if he can stay healthy, I think that it's only a matter of time before he starts to make an impact on this team as well. Noah Gray, he could be a great tight end number two. Uh, I didn't really want to pick him over uh, Humphrey, though, because I think that Humphrey is going to have a bigger impact and his role is more important. But Noah Gray, I think, is going to be tight end number two. Uh, Cornell Powell, you guys know how I feel about him. I love him a lot. Uh, I think that he could be a good receiver down the line. Um, he's going to develop into a, a good number three or possibly even a number two. 
And the final pick is Trey Smith. And, you know, Trey Smith's got a lot of talent as well. I was actually debating whether to pick Trey Smith, but I also kind of thought, well, you know, he's coming from Tennessee. He was a four-year starter. I I think that he needs a little bit of time to develop at the, uh, I was going to say major league level, at the NFL level. He's going to need some time. Uh, He's not a day one starter, in my opinion, like Creed Humphrey is, but he could be a very solid backup this year. And who knows, maybe when uh, Laurent DuVernay-Tardif and uh, Kyle Long are no longer here, he could be a right guard on this team and start. So I think the Chiefs had a great draft class this year. I kind of went on and on in this video about some of the different picks, but I wanted to give my rationale behind why I think that Creed Humphrey will have the most immediate impact. I just think that he will. Uh, He's more refined than all these other draft picks, and I would give it an A+, and I think he's going to be the starting center uh, come week one. So, Chiefs Kingdom, what do you guys think? What do you uh, think is the biggest uh, player that the Chiefs drafted in this draft class, and who do you think is going to have the the most immediate impact on this team? Uh, I, I think that anybody you could say would be a good pick, as long as it's not like Kane Doe or uh, Powell. But I think that the Chiefs did a very good job this year of finding guys that can be very good contributors on this team in the future as well as in the present. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe for more of the best Chiefs content on YouTube. You can also follow us on Instagram for more of the latest updates on future videos, as well as instant Chiefs news right after it happens. You can also support the channel via the Patreon as well as buying merchandise um, from the KC Sports Report store on Teespring. The links to all of those websites will be in the description. You just listened to the KC Sports Report presented by Michael Darcy.